Okay, so today I wanted to come in and show you how to make a half up, half down style do with clip-in extensions. Stay tuned. problem obviously my hair is a little more ashy than what I wish it was um, I eat a little too much purple shampoo but anyways I wanted to go ahead and still show you guys how I do my half up half down look so first thing that I start to do is I start to measure not necessarily measure but I want to know like how how do I want my I mean sometimes your half ups half down start from here do I want it to start from all the way to my ear or do I want to leave a little bit of hair? My preference is always to leave a little bit of hair just because in my opinion, like it just, if I have to put, well, I will have to put something when my hair is too short. Um, as far as extension goes, it's just going to cover and it's just going to look so much prettier. So I'm going to start off by setting that in. I do have some extensions already in my hair that are taped so don't mind those all right and I'm just gonna basically clip that away with just a regular clip okay all right so my next step is to start here at the very bottom from the bottom of where my ear kind of starts if that's a good way of <laughs> describing it. Um, and then I'm gonna clip that away. All right, I'm gonna start by measuring the first extension that I want in my hair, which is typically the, the shortest one, All right? And I did this in my previous one. You kind of tease up. I go this low because my hair is so short, so I need the weight of the hair to really come through <laughs> or the weight of the extension out of the hair what is hair all right see see what i mean so the weight of this hair ends up like being heavy and it weighs that bottom piece or bottom um area down all right so the next one that i'm gonna do is gonna be about middle of my ear here i always just kind of bring my finger and go all the way to the middle, meeting with the other side, just like that. Clip that out of the way. So I'm doing here to here. Okay, I'm using, mm, this one's probably gonna be too long. Mm, I'll make it work. So I'm gonna apply the next one here, clip that in. Make sure it clips. Make sure you hear that clipping sound right behind my ear, just like that. Next section, we're not gonna wanna go up that high because we want it to obviously blend to where you don't see anything back here. So the last one will be here. And I'm going to kind of go low here, kind of dips, dips down just because you're following the way the hair grows. You can always, always use an actual tip of a comb, like a rat tail comb to just kind of help you out there. So the next one's going to look, uh, this one might be too, yeah, this one's too short. Next one's going to look like this right here. This one's got four clips. I always start from the middle to the front to measure. And I make sure that I'm not clipping anything that I put my hair 
in the clip for because when you go to brush it then it brings that clip right back down okay just like so brush it in now we've got a bottom part of our hair okay so now we're gonna clip this away just as so so i've kind of parted to where i have this much hair so that when i go to pull it in the pony it covers my clip in that i'm about to put in all right so the clip in is going to go in backwards as y'all can see my clips are going in backwards and i'm just gonna start by clipping them in backwards just like that do y'all see that i don't know if y'all can see watch me do this i'm getting as close to the root as i can and making sure it's clipped in as y'all can see it's going backwards so that when I get this hair and I comb it with this hair, it's gonna go right flat against it. No teeth of any kind of clip-ins coming through. Okay, that's one section. I'll probably do two smaller ones just like that. All I'm doing is I am kind of spreading it out. You don't really have to. I'm just doing it so that when I go to pick it up, it just blends. All right, so we're going in with it backwards, just like this. And then we are, so let me see if I can focus better on this. I am clipping it to this next section. You want the extension to lay flat this way. It's really hard when I'm doing it against the mirror. All right, this is my hair here, and this is what it's gonna look like, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with my teasing brush, like this. As y'all can see, everything down here is pinned. Everything that's gonna go up is not. So I always just kind of bring my head down just like that and then I'm gonna brush notice how all this other hair is pinned down notice how when I go to brush it I have clip-ins like you guys can't see or there's really no bumps now I'm gonna brush this side here and this is gonna be my ponytail for the top all right as I am picking it up I'm moving it back and moving it back just like that I mean you can see my tape in but you can't see any of the clip-ins see how those are right here make sure that you're brushing over just like so and then I'm gonna grab a small little rubber band and I'm gonna hold all of this together now I'm just gonna pull just kidding, you may want to take a rubber band. Or I like to grab two. Kinda knew that was gonna happen, but I don't want it to happen. You're just gonna kind of tightly pull, holding this section, pulling some out. All right, We've got some stuff going on right here. Nothing, a little brushing will help you do. All right, we're gonna let go of the back. Okay, voila, right? You think, oh, this looks good. Oh, this will work. Cool, all right, you can do that. But if you wanna play and uh, rev up that game you got, you can always go in with an extra, like a smaller section. This one's a little brighter, all right? And then pin it. I always just clip it if it has a clip behind. Go here. wrap it around if it ends up in the front pin it back just like that and then what i do is with my teasing brush i start to just kind of tease from the 
holding, pushing up. Okay. You don't want to overdo it because, I mean, obviously you want this to obviously look messy but not like a ratted like I just did. I like to pull a few pieces out. Have some coming down. The bottom, I mean, play with it a little bit, but I'm gonna curl this little piece because everything else is super tight curls. Curling it away. Just kidding, it's not on. You guys, how cute is this? I'll show you what the back, back looks like when I'm done. There it goes. Holding it against your finger. Once you start to feel your heat, you let go. Okay? I really don't feel the need to do it anywhere else, to be honest. And then, you go in with your Kloa and you apply to your bald spot looking areas. I like to apply it in where that extension is, where the lines are, just to kind of create or make it look like it's fuller. Y'all see where y'all see all these lines? And I'll show y'all too. Ay! Let me drop that. See how they just disappear? I also show you, can show you how I make my forehead look like I have a super even. Maybe that's a little too even, but what you can do is just go in and just kind of blend that out. And if I get too crazy, like I'll go in with my makeup. Where I did my bronzer. See, I made that so much more straighter. It looks a little more like it belongs. And there you have it, guys. Half up, half down. I'll show you what the back looks like. It covers, even if this were to split, you have enough hair holding or coming down to where this weft is. But typically, you should not be able to see it. And you have yourself a cute little do. This doesn't, I mean, obviously if your hair is um, longer, it looks a little more realistic, but I mean, I feel like we short people hair girls can pull it off too. What do y'all think? Leave me some comments below. And thanks for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>